Hi guys, it's Blakey for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Okay, we're starting a project today. When uh, I made a spoon video a while back and I used my kukri for it. I was doing it because someone kind of called me out on it and showed yes you could do it. But I'll admit, I am no great carver. And you know, that's a skill I want to improve. So you're going to go with me and we're going to work on it. But first I need some tools for it. Now, I've been using my tried and true kukri. And I love my kukri. And it does a really, really good job for the down and dirty work. But I'm looking for something with a little more precision for what I'm wanting to achieve in the near future. And for that reason, I step back to my childhood. When I was growing up, I can remember my uncle in the tool shed out back, the place you didn't want to go to because it meant you were trouble. But in the tool shed up over the door, there was a little bitty axe. Now this axe had a leather cover on it, it had a stained handle, and it was polished like a mirror along the edge. Hanging on the wall over here was a hatchet and an axe and etc. But that little one up there, you didn't mess with it because that was a very specialized carving tool. And what that was used for is when he, whenever a chair leg broke and he was going to create a new chair leg, down came that hatchet. When he needed to create a new Lazy Susan, down came the chair leg. When he needed to take some dimensional lumber that could be quickly roughed out with something, that's what that was for. It was a carving axe is really what it was. Left over from his father's teachings to him. Now, where that axe went, I have no idea. But I do know the basic design of it. And so I decided to give it a try. I want a carving axe. Because of that, we're going to start from scratch. Now, there are some really, really nice axes out there that are designed straight for it. Granford Brooks, there's a lot out of Sweden. And they've got a real nice price tag on them. And I'm not saying I'm not going to end up with them. And I'm going to be honest with you, the... Uh, that little bitty short uh, scout axe, I, I really want one of those. I really do. And Condor makes one just like it. About that big, good size head on it, good small handle on it for choking up. And I'm going to have one of them one day, probably in the near future. But for this project, I decided to step back and do it common man something that you can pick up locally and do and so that's what we're starting with this is a Vaughn half hatchet now these are being sold at Walmart right now and they're 20 bucks at my local Walmart made in the USA American steel American hickory handle and it's a 22 ounce head and we're gonna modify this and turn it into the hatchet I want now I like this deep design where I can choke up on it. Now notice I can choke all the way up and put my finger beside it for very precision shaving cuts along an end grain. I can also take this and this swelling right here. It's perfect for the pinch grip when I'm doing those light little nick chops trying to take things off. The handle flares out back here like a hammer handle and it's a little too long. Now as a chopper this is fine but we're not using it like that. And that axe that I remember, like that little scout, is a short axe. It's something like that. And so we're going to modify this handle and make it work the way I do. So, let's get cut. Okay, now let's see how this goes.
You've done it now. You can't take it back to Walmart. shortened it and that is going to work just the way we want it now we've made it much shorter taking that much of the handle off and that's going to make it much easier for me to utilize as a carving tool now why did you cut it at such a funny angle Keeps that point from butting you in the hand when you're carving it with it. See that a lot on the various ones. So I'm going to get this paper label off of here. There we go. Let's see what we're left with. This. About the right size about the right angle. Now I'm going to have to true this up back here, but see how that cut is, that drop in the drop? That way that point doesn't hit when you're sitting there working it. You see a lot of axes and things have that type of cut off on the end of it. And I've got a file right over here just for this. But this is just the first step. The first thing we're going to do going to true up these edges, true up the lines like we want, make it work the way we want it to work, and make it the size we want. Now, I'll bevel that up better a little bit later, but uh, I'm going to take this finish off of here. I'll take my some broken glass and we're going to go over this. Part two. I'll take some broken glass and I'll shave this off so it's nice and like I want it because this is mine now. Woo! That thing is so sharp. It, it really, it just wants to just bite right in. And here I am trying to shave that little piece of paper off. And it'd do it. But at the same time, that blade is so sharp, it just wants to bite that hickory. There. Now, here's what we got. Perfect size. Now, when I grab it back here I've got a little bit of a chopper when I come up to these two ears and pinch I got a little bit more control and when I finally come up like this see, I can choke way up here on this and take it for that shaving the end cut now step one complete we got the size step two now we've got to refinish it get this handle shape like I want and we're going to clean this up and make it razor sharp and very thin edge. That's one of the reasons I liked this, because it was thin and easy to manipulate. And that makes it the way I want, head heavy. So it feels in the hand like you're holding the head, and this is just the handle for the head. I'm not out here, I'm closer to it. And so when I start shaving and carving with it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, that's it for step one. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.